What's up everybody? Today we are going to be going over the longest substring with k distinct characters. This is a Google interview question. Okay, here we go. Given a string, you need to print the longest possible substring that is exactly m unique characters. If there are more than one substring of longest possible length, then you can print any one of them. Okay, so the first things first is we have to wrap our head around what exactly is going on here. Okay, so basically, if you look at this example, input and return, we see an input string of a, a, b, b, c, c, and then k equals one. This k represents the how many unique, unique characters can be in our substring, and we're looking for the longest substring of one k unique character. So here we have one substring with one unique character, a, a, the next one, b, b, and the last one, c, c. So any one of those three would be an acceptable return. Now down here, k equals two. So now the substring can have two unique characters. So a, a, b, b is one substring and b, b, c, c is another substring. Same thing with three. And then down here, what we can see is if we're looking for a substring with three unique characters and this string has no substring with three unique characters as there's only an a and a b, so there's only two unique characters, then you have to throw some sort of error. Alrighty, so let's think about our approach here might be tempted to try a brute force approach, but if you think about that, then it's actually going to be O of n cubed runtime because we have to use a nested for loop to examine the entire string and the rest of this possible substrings after it. And then we also have to traverse it at the end, which would make it O of n cubed. But there's actually a way to do it in linear time. So the basic the premise of it is to maintain some sort of window as you loop through the string and you can all you have to do is um, when the condition is no longer true with the unique characters you have to pop the element off of the leftmost part of the window okay i think this is gonna make more sense once we start actually implementing it here okay so let's come down here and let's define our function and I'm just going to call it define k uniques and then I'm going to pass in some sort of string and that k which is the number of unique characters. I'm also going to initialize two variables a u equal to zero which is going to represent um, num of unique characters and then an n which is going to be equal to the length of the input string. So now we have to make that window that's going to be traversing the array with us, or the string with us, excuse me. Um, so basically the way we're going to represent this is with an associative array to store the count. So basically we're going to call this count, and we're going to make an associative array. So we're just going to say bracket zero, and then I'm going to times it by the maximum amount of characters that we could possibly have. And for our case, that's actually just going to be 26, because that's how many letters there are. Okay, so now we actually have to traverse the string. So for i in range, the maximum, or not the, for i in range of n, now we have to decide whether or not we want to pop that leftmost element. So what we can say is if the count, so now what we have to do is figure out which index we're going to be at. And this is pretty much just going to be order of s bracket i minus the order of a. And if this is equal to zero, then all we got to do is increment that u, the number of unique characters. And then now we always have to do is increment, oh, it's just got to be a lowercase. And now, then, after this, we can just exit out of that conditional statement, and we can increment that location in the um, count variable, or the count data structure. So order of um, s bracket i, whoops, I did one too many, uh, square brackets of order of s bracket i minus order of the a. And we have to increment that by one. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to check this condition right here. We have to see if 
there are enough unique characters in the string to return a valid solution. So what we can do is we can say, if the number of unique characters is less than k, then we can just say um, print uh, invalid input. That's good enough. And then we can just finish, exit out of this function. Okay, so now if this is not the case, we have to take the, the window with the first element in it and start and end variables. So what we can do is we can create two variables and this is gonna be the current current start and we're gonna set that equal to zero in the beginning and the current end, which is gonna be equal to zero, right? This is going to be what the current dimensions of the window is going through the array. And then we can also initialize values for the result of the longest window. So what we can say is max window size, we can set it equal to one, and then max window starts, which is obviously when you start at zero, because it doesn't have anything yet in the beginning. So now we have to initialize the array count with zero. So that we can say is count equal zero times length of count. Okay, so now what we have to do is input the first character into this array. So what we can say is count bracket the order of s bracket zero minus the order of a. We can say plus equal one. So now what we got to do is actually traverse the string. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the second character because we already have the first character handled. And then we're going to add the characters into the, uh, the window according to this. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to say for i in range 1 to n. Now we have to do is add the character at this location of i um, to the current window. So what we can do is say count bracket order of s bracket i order of s bracket i minus the order of a plus equal one and then the current end is going to be incremented by one as well so then now what we've got to do is say if there's going to be more than k unique characters in the current window then we want to remove that leftmost element so how are we going to do that what we can say is while not and then we have to check for some sort of condition to see if we should take out that leftmost element so what we're going to do is we're going to make a helper function and we're going to call it is valid. But I'm just going to throw it in here real quick. So if is valid, and we're going to pass in the count k okay, into this. Okay, and I'm just going to say pass for now. But what we're going to do is come up here and we're going to say define is valid. And we're going to pass in the count and k. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set a variable called val. And we're going to val. And we're going to set it equal to zero. And now what we're going to do is loop through all the different possible letters. So for i in range of 26, now what we're going to do is we're going to check to see if we want to increment this value. So what we're going to say is if count bracket i is greater than 0, right, is this a, a different uh, um, character, then value plus equal 1. Okay. And then all we got to say is if k is greater than or equal to value, then we know that we got too many unique characters. So we can just return true and then otherwise return false. So we can take out this pass statement here. And now what we can do is we can say count bracket order of s. But now we're going to start it from the current starts and then we're going to subtract the order of a and then what we're going to do is just decrement it by one and then the current start is going to move up one place so current start plus equal one so now we have to check to see if we need to increment the max window size so how are we going to do that if the current end minus the current start is greater than the max window size. And the max window size 
is going to equal the current end minus the current start plus one. And the max window start start is going to equal to the current start. And then now what we can do is all we gotta do is just return the max substring. So what we can do is we can say print max substring is, um, and then well, all we gotta do is say plus s bracket max window start to max window start plus max window size. Then after we do that, now we can also talk about the length. I'm gonna come down here so it's a little more readable. Plus, and then we can say um, with a length of, and then we can plus the string of the max window size. So I believe this should work. Let's run a test here. So let's make a string and we can set it equal to A, A, B, A, C, B, E, B, E, B, E. And then we can say K equal to three. Then now what we can do is just call K uniques of S comma K and see what happens. So we have an error here. Let's see what we have happening. Unsupported operand types for minus string and minus int. Uh, I see, because I didn't. Uh, it's just because I forgot to close this parenthesis. So now this should be all good. And we can just take that out. And then if we run it, and there we have it, max substring is CBE, 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 BE with a length of seven. And that is, yep, and that's what it is. Perfect, right? This algorithm worked. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or join my Discord when I can answer them a little more easily. But I hope you guys enjoyed.